Okay, so now that this is done, the machine is going to reboot a couple of times before it reaches this point. Don't touch anything, just wait for it to finish. Okay, so customize settings. I like to turn these, all these things off, even though regardless, some sort of traffic still happens. So next, uh, just turning off and off and off. And off and off and off we go. Oh my god, will you stop running away? I'm talking to the mouse. <laughs> okay, just a moment. It says, just a moment. Why do you need a moment? What it is that, What is it that you are doing? Just boot. Okay, so an email or phone. No, I don't have Microsoft account, so skip this step. Okay, username. I'm going to go ahead and type in test. And password shall be test. Of course, you will type in the username that you want, that you want, or in the password that you want. And for God's sakes, don't type in test as your password. And repeat the password. It, actually, look, it requires a password hint. If I say next, a hint is required. So you are obligated to provide a hint for your password, which is hilarious. I'm just going to type in T. Oh, man, I love the Windows setup. It's like, provide a Provide a hint to your password. Whoever tries to log in, give them a hint. <laughs> give them a hint to make to your password. So we're happy that you are here. Lots of great features to get excited about. Okay, come on. Come on, my friend. Please do not torment me. People are waiting. Okay. Changing colors in the back. That's great. Very impressive stuff. Changing colors in the back. Keep changing them. Okay, still changing colors. I hate this about Windows. Like, every time you install it, it's like this. They sh who, whoever invented this stupid notion of actually having to wait the post-installation process, I do not understand. What is it that it's doing in the back? That it takes so long in the after in the post installation period just boot the machine how hard can it be preferably at some point of time today if possible at all getting everything ready for you you know i would like you to tell me what is it getting ready for me i would like a list of all the things that it's getting ready to me like when you boot linux it gives you a list of all the of all the of all the things that it initializes of all the devices that it initializes Oh, I also have a spider on my screen. I was wondering what's going on there. There was something walking across the screen. Ah, oh well. It's good for catching mosquitoes. The summer is here, so that's always unpleasant. My friend, today, if you could, please, I am begging you. You don't need to get anything ready for me. I promise you I'll be able to get it ready for myself. Still getting ready. Fine. Take all the time you need. Don't rush. Okay, let's start. And now. Okay, so the machine is successfully booted up. It's searching for the display driver. That's all fine and dandy. But what we need is not this. So we're going to go ahead. Now that we've successfully installed the machine and all is ready to go, we're going to go ahead and use the number one internet browser for downloading other browsers. I'm just going to go ahead and type in Firefox. I'm sorry about the small screen. There's nothing you can do about it at this point in time. Not until you've installed the actual drivers. Okay, free download. Thank you very much. Uh, run. Yes. You don't need to download Firefox. I'm just, I just don't like using Internet Explorer at all. Okay, Firefox is being downloaded, and it's still downloading. And I'm going to go ahead and close the Internet Explorer. Thank you for updating the OneDrive. I shall make sure to use it extensively. Okay, Firefox, my friend. Install. I swear to God, the installation is so much faster in Linux. 
like three, two, one, and it install, it downloads and it installs. It's so funny that it takes so much longer here. From what I've seen, anyway. I can't actually confirm that with 100% certainty. And I've definitely unpinned this from Taskbar. It's such a shame that you cannot uninstall the browser. I mean, what kind of an operating system does not allow you to uninstall a browser? Don't import anything. Next. Yes, I would like to use it as my default browser, but you have to manually select it here, which is horrible, to say the least, and then close. Okay, uh, I suppose you know what model of a graphic card there do you want to pass through, so just go ahead and type in NVIDIA. Again, nothing you can do about the small screen, not at this point in time. And then go ahead and select the drivers that you need. So it's GeForce, it's 900 series, uh, it's 970, it's Windows 10 64-bit, or at least I hope that it's 64-bit. Let me just go ahead and check that quickly. Properties, and yeah, it is 64-bit. And that's it. Just go ahead and click on the search button. Download. Yes, agree and download. God knows what I'm agreeing to save. And it's gonna take a while for it to download. Uh, meanwhile, what we need to do is press Control L Alt while it's downloading. I'll actually need to do, you need to shut down the machine in order to do this, but we'll go into add hardware and we will actually add the PCI, the PCI graphics to the, we'll pass the PCI to the virtual machine. So I'm just going to wait for it to finish download. Once it is done, we will go ahead and reboot the machine.